Right, as you can see, I'm driving. Uh, this is something that those of you who followed me for a while know that I do this time of year when I'm out on the road speaking at places, and especially when I'm on the road speaking in areas around my, near my house. Well, when I say near my house, I'm talking five hours, five and a half hours away. Uh, this week, I just, last night I spoke, yesterday afternoon I spoke in Sydney, Montana, about a five and a half hour drive from my house in Livingston, Montana. Uh, and then next week, I'll be speaking in Gillette, Wyoming. This will be the sixth time in six years they've had me back there to speak. And so that's another five hour drive. So I, sp I get a lot of car time and this is a good time to talk to you and do my videos. Um, and so today, what I thought I'd do is talk to you a little bit about, I'm, I'm not doing, as you may have noticed from the title, I'm not doing something based on the theme that the podcast talked about this week. And here's why. I didn't do my podcast this week. The theme today is improvise, adapt, and overcome. And I realized uh, my podcast is released on Monday mornings. And I, uh, I record that usually on Sunday mornings. Well, this week I was so busy getting ready for this trip and getting ready for a trip that I take tomorrow morning. I fly to Chicago at 6 a.m. Um, I'm gonna go back and see my friends. We're gonna go see Bruce Springsteen at Wrigley Field uh, tomorrow night. Really, really looking forward to that. Now, tomorrow night is, if you're watching this the day this comes out, it's tonight. Uh, but I was getting ready for that. And then on top of it, I had a friend in from out of state who we had planned a little uh, half day fishing trip. So I was so busy doing all those things, I totally spaced the podcast. I realized that as I was walking out the door yesterday morning, so I grabbed my microphone and planned on doing the podcast this morning so it would come to you a day late. I got it set up in the hotel room. I couldn't get the software that I use. It's called GarageBand. Couldn't get it to work. <laughs> and so I'm like, uh, okay, now what? And so I'm improvising, I'm adapting, I'm overcoming. I'm actually doing this in reverse. Normally I do the podcast, that goes out on Monday, and then I do the video, that goes out on Wednesday. Well, I couldn't do the podcast, so I'm starting with the video, and I'm talking about improvising, adapting, and overcoming. And this is actually a theme that I already discussed before. I uh, can't remember how long ago. I discussed it on video. That was a couple of years ago. And I discussed it on uh, the podcast. The, the podcast during the interview episodes with Judd Damon from Flagler University. Uh, yeah, you can go back. That was a really good one because he loved that, that phrase, improvise, adapt, and overcome. We both are were fans of it from the movie Heartbreak Ridge. It was a Clint Eastwood movie back in the late 80s, early 90s. I think it was like 91 or 92. And uh, yeah, so we uh, we, did, we had a great discussion on it. Well, here I was this morning realizing I got to improvise and adapt and overcome what's going on because I was supposed to get my podcast out and it didn't. Now I've got to get my video ready for tomorrow. I'm going to be flying tomorrow. And normally I record the video today or the yesterday it would have been. Uh, you know, Tuesday or Monday, so I, I have it released on Wednesday. But uh, that's why I'm doing this right now from here, because when I get home, I got all kinds of things to do to get ready for my trip tomorrow. Plus, I got to record a podcast episode if I can if I can get the software to work. So this concept of improvising, adapting, and overcoming is it, it keeps coming back to me. I, I start, first started it, like I said, when that movie came out. I started using it with my teams. Uh, I think my soccer team was the one of the soccer teams I coached was the first team because I think I saw the movie. I think it was a summer release, and uh, then we come back to school and we start soccer, and I just would use that a lot because it was so true. You know, kids still find oh, there's whatever issue. It's like okay, well, you got to improvise, you adapt, you overcome, and I've used those those three words pop into my head in that order so often ever since seeing that movie. So what's that, 30 years ago? Something like that, yeah. And uh, 
And I think it's a great message. I really do. And I think it's one that we all uh, can benefit from. I'm going to readjust this just a little bit. I think it's one we can all benefit from because you're going to have, uh, I, I was telling the kids and the parents in the talk last night, you know, you're going to have failures. You're going to have mistakes in, in games and in contests. That it happens all the time. Um, one of the things that we say in, in these talks is all athletics is is public failure. You know, we, it gets a little chuckle and and it sounds sad, but it's kind of true. Every single like I'm a basketball coach. Every single possession, there are ten players, three officials, two coaches standing there. There's 15 people who could be making mistakes and. Of 15 people in the, the heat of a game, you know that some of them are making mistakes every single moment. And so how do you deal with the fact that you may have made a mistake, your teammate may have made a mistake, or there may have been some failure you know, that led to a basket or whatever, or led to um, you know, not scoring What if you were on offense, how are you gonna deal with that? How are you going to deal with, uh-oh, the other team is kind of going on a run and we're struggling to be able to stop such and such and such a player. Okay, well, we have to improvise. We adapt. We overcome. And so you figure it out. And so I've always loved that concept of improvise, adapt, and overcome. What's well, exactly what I had to do today because I didn't get my podcast out and I couldn't get it to start this morning. I couldn't get it to work this morning. So I just flipped the order and I'm doing my video right now for you. And like I say, I'll try to get to the podcast, but maybe I won't, you know? And, and I'll be really bummed if I don't because I have gotten a podcast out for 177, I think it is, straight weeks, 175, whatever it is, wherever we are. And that would really kind of bother me. Heck, it's bothering me that I didn't get it out on Monday because I have never missed a Monday, all right? And so, you know, but all right, that happened. What am I going to do? Just cry about it? No, I'm going to improvise. I'm going to adapt and I'm going to overcome. At least that's my plan. I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. Also, I do my blog posts on, the, they come out on Saturday and then, and then I send them out on my newsletter. If you're not a newsletter subscriber of mine, you should get on there, slamdunksuccess.com. And uh, just scroll down to the bottom of the page, or better yet, go to the blog page and look on the right side, and you can uh, get a free my free ebook, uh, your coaching philosophy. But I might, you know, I'm looking at my schedule trying to figure out well, when am I going to get a chance to write that? You know, I am, and I'm flying home that evening, so it might not come out till Sunday. Who knows? We'll just have to see. I'm going to improvise, adapt, and overcome. And it might mean, you know what, this week I was on vacation <laughs> because everybody has to take a vacation sometime. Well, I'm on, and I am, I'm going on a little vacation. And so maybe the blog post and the newsletter are on vacation for a week. Okay, that would be a way to improvise, adapt, and overcome. I don't think any of you are going to go, oh, I'm done with this guy. He took a vacation. I, I hope not. Uh, I'm human. I make mistakes. I have failures. But I also need a break at times too. So maybe that's what I will do. And, and maybe I'll be talking about that next week. I still want to wrap up the concepts of significance. I had a couple of good quotes that I was thinking about doing for today. One in particular and then a couple of others. Uh, so I might it might be a couple more weeks of that we'll be talking about significance. And especially after this week, I probably need to really visit the concept of significance. We'll see. Anyway, uh, Bit of ramble, bit of ramble here, but the, the focus, make sure you recognize the importance of you improvising, adapting, and overcoming, but also teaching your kids the importance of that. Because things are not going to go the way you want all the time. Rarely do they do. Okay? We tell, I said this last night, the only thing I can guarantee about your season coming up is it won't be perfect. That's exactly what I'm dealing with right now. So, uh, and I know you haven't come to expect perfection from me, but there is kind of a, an element of consistency. And uh, I failed in that this week. And so what do I do? Well, I'm gonna improvise, adapt, and overcome. And I hope you do the same. We'll talk to you again next time.